breakfast at um, the previous hostel was uh, not disappointing. It was just small um, by hostel standards, but I only paid like $9. I can't, I can't ask much. There's like a chocolate cereal and um, banana. And then I had some, uh, I thought it was green tea, but it was more like a mint tea. I actually got down there too early, so like, I went back up for a little bit and came back down. And then even then, there's only like one other person that came down while I was eating. But today was, or yes, I'm recording this like 6 a.m., um, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but uh, the day was interesting in that uh, I had, uh, this is the first time that I've earned enough credit for a free room for the night. Um, so, like, I spent a while this morning, that morning, uh, trying to figure out where I wanted to stay. You basically just get credit for the average price that you paid for the previous 10 stays. So I had like $16 credit. So I ended up uh, staying at a hostel half a mile north, or I guess a mile north, whatever. Um, and it's a very good hostel. The only problem is that uh, it's a little too popular. So I was in the common area until like after midnight waiting for it to kind of clear out so I could record because it's a little awkward just talking to myself on the laptop. Um, and it didn't, so I'm in here now. And uh, it's still, like there's no other customers with the staff is like cleaning and stuff. It's a little awkward. Before I got here, um, I had a little bit of time to kill, so I was gonna go, there was a park on the map, and so I headed towards there, and then I realized right when I got there that it was a park that I'd already been to the, like on the second day, when I had gone to the Victory Monument. I stopped into this uh, little cafe, it was called, uh, I can't remember what it was called. that I had is like some kind of like fried chicken, I guess, rice, and the the rice was kind of like molded into like a little teddy bear shape, so it was cute. Then I had a uh, apple tea, which uh, basically tasted like uh, apple cider, but less uh, acidic. And then, wandering around. Again, this is the same area that I was in before. So this part, there's not that many side streets as far as all the markets and stuff like that, but it's it's a good area for street photography. And there's one little shopping center that I <clears throat> went into a couple times, because it was right, right by the hostel. Um, and I had a feeling the first time I went in, and I, it was confirmed the second time, that it's a, it was more of a university um, cafeteria. And actually, the university is like right across the street. I can't remember the name of the university, but... um. Uh, I was like one of the older people in the building. <laughs> and so I checked in it too. That edited the photos that I've taken. Uh, I'm trying to make a goal of like each day taking or com coming out with like 50, not necessarily great but not horrible photos. Because in the past I would basically just spend a couple days a year taking photos, like when I go to another city. But like now it's like like I never really did photography on a regular basis. So it's been interesting you know, having that challenge to myself. Um, so all in all, today I think I came out with about like 200 or so, um, decent, and uh, probably at least a dozen photos that like, I really like. That's, that's the weird thing about um, taking photos all the time now, it's like every day finding or having my new like favorite of all time, or some one of my favorites of all time. Around like uh, 5 o'clock, um, I wasn't hungry yet, so I didn't want to do that, but I didn't want to be sitting around all day, so I went out and um, went for a walk. There's this like um, track I was trying to get out to, not to walk, but just to get pictures of. And so I uh, wandered around for a little bit, and then I couldn't really find an entrance to the track or even really any kind of like eyeline into the track or whatever. Um, and uh, I saw a train. So 
exercise, walking along this, uh, some kind of complex for a while. Um, there's like a long walk, and really nothing new to take pictures of. And the, the lighting at five is not ideal in going uh, west because the sun's setting. So the light's like in the way of the camera. Or like, you can see a picture of is going to be kind of a silhouette, which could be cool, but I, I didn't really get that many good ones. Um, and it gets a lot harder to do the quick autofocus when the subject is not properly lit. Um, so you have to like really look into the um, viewfinder, which I don't usually do for street photos anyways. I was heading towards, like, so I figured I would just do kind of a loop around the track, even like I can actually see the track. It turns out that the complex is actually where, I can't remember the name of it, but um, it's actually where the king resides. So, like, without even knowing it or intending it, all of a sudden I was walking outside the space in Buckingham Palace. <laughs> I knew it was important just because, like, there was guards and stuff, but you couldn't see any, like, structure inside. It was just the wall. Um, actually, there's a couple little buildings on the outside. And then there was, like, a farm so there's cows. So I got back, took a quick shower, because I, I usually take one when I get to the hostel, but I didn't this time. Went basically next door to a place, I can't remember, I don't even actually know the name of it, um, but uh, it was really good. But, so I'm not really sure what I ate. <laughs> like, I don't, the food that I pointed to on the menu doesn't look, didn't, I don't think it looks like the food that I ordered, but I ordered like the puffed catfish, which I don't know what that means. Uh, mango, um, and uh, they brought me, um, I don't really know how to describe it, it's like a, like, it, it is not a picturesque food item, um, but basically I just ended up dumping this uh, little bowl of uh, um, veggies and spices and stuff like that on, directly onto it, and it was like a mango flavored sauce, I guess. Um, but the uh, dish itself is like, like it looks huge in the pictures, but it's um, it's very uh, again puffy. Um, so it kind of like melted down um, when I put that on there. Um, but it was like very flaky and crispy. I really don't know what to compare it to. It was good, and the spices were very spicy. And then I was going to leave, and then I saw that they were uh, setting up for a band, so I stuck around for a little bit longer. Make it it's kind of nice since the hotel was only three dollars, whatever, and um, my lunch at the cafe was only another like three dollars. Um, I had a little bit more budget today than usual, and so I uh, watched the concert for a little bit and then headed back up. Um, again, I was hoping that it would uh, be less uh, busy because I can record the vlog last night. Uh, but no. Yeah, so I guess that's it. I want to go back to bed. I think my breakfast is at 9. They start at 8, but it's at 9, I guess. I'm glad I did because I want to go back to bed. Anyway, <clears throat> until tomorrow, or tonight, technically.